Hey YouTube, how you doing? It's been a long time uh, since I've made a post. Oh, I just something struck me today. Just wanted to talk about it. Uh, it's Tom here, obviously. One uh, sixteen is my current check on the Medtronic six seventy. Um, that's all going good. Things are going good with that. Uh, no, no issues. Uh, A1C last time was a six point six, which I'm okay with. Doctor was okay with. I'd like it in the. I had a 5.9 about a year ago. I wish it was there, but um, anyway, everything's going all right. Uh, today, what was on my mind was uh, insulin inventory. You know, I'm always just made the joke to my wife last night. I make it quite often that if there was ever like a zombie apocalypse or a national, uh, you know, catastrophe that things were going haywire, sunspot, you name it, that uh, after setting the house up for her and the kids, I'd make a quick beeline. Uh, and an armed expedition to CVS, right, uh, to load up, because um, I'd only have as much time as I got insulin in the fridge. And so, you know, uh, luckily my script that I get from my doc is um, is, uh, is for, for a certain period of time, but I'm able to extend it and have built an inventory uh, of such. But never am I more at ease than when I, uh, you know, fill that script and get my uh, inventory bulked up, um, but it's so expensive, you know, so it's kind of a, how much inventory can you carry, how much cash can you expend, you know, so it's an insurance question, it's a complicated question on how much insulin to keep on hand in case of, right, um, but, you know, you always think without it, you know, how long could you go, uh, you know, you'd have to eat very little, and even then, just your natural, you know, storage of of glucagon, glucagen would, would increase your sugar levels, I, I believe, you know, I'm not a doctor. Um, so that's really what I just was thinking about today was uh, inventory, you know, insulin inventory, um, and how that plays a part into your management, you know. Uh, do you do you not take medicine at the end because of money? You know, I, I haven't been there. I'm, I'm like all or nothing. You know, I've whittled, I've gone, I haven't, you know, I've waited to pick it up until I literally had like a drop left in the pump, um, which isn't always smart, but those are financial, you know, that's when finances hit, health hit, you know, reality. So um, it's just one of those topics that uh, I think really is uh, interesting for a diabetic because it's such a chronic uh, disease and we have such a constant ever going need for something that's, you know, that somebody's making money on to supply us with just to live, you know. Um, so it'd be cool. I know a lot of people, it's a, it's a tough topic when you talk about socialized health care. Socialism is a bad word and, uh, you know, and all that jazz. But um, I'm a firm believer that, you know, what's good for everybody in that regard is really, you know, what's good for diabetics in that regard would be good for everybody, you know, to just make that, this drug available if you need it at a, at a reasonable cost. I mean, I think about all the people that are, you know, diabetics and, and, uh, and below the poverty line and how their inventory is, must be low and how they must suffer over the long haul. And really that's also extremely costly, not, you know, obviously in their life and in their health, but to the society as a whole and, you know, insulin is one of those perfect examples, you know, so many medicines are, but one of those perfect examples of like, you know, we don't get charged for air, you know, we do get charged for water a little bit, you know, but it's almost understandable and it's minor, you know, but it's one of those life sustaining needs that, you know, really deserves a debate on how we're, you know, able to allow a capitalist organization like, you know, Novolog, I use, I've always used Novolog, um, and, uh, you know, to make, to make money, I mean, I haven't looked at them lately, I will when I turn this off, but, you know, I'm sure, you know, they're publicly traded to some degree, or, you know, and they're a huge conglomerate worth billions and billions of dollars, and, you know, they're making money off of the insurance companies, which is making money off of everyone needing insurance and it's just a big long cycle and somebody some CEO is taking a huge cut every year and 
you know, and that's all fine and good. That's capitalism. I'm, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of capitalism, you know, but when it's at the cost of people's health, you know, when it's something that literally without they would die, I mean, I think then it's not really a, a want, you know, it's not really, it doesn't fall into the category of you should be able to get rich, fat, and happy on it because, you know, the technology's out there and obviously it's been invented so long ago, you know, I can't imagine one person owns, uh, you know, the recipe at this stage of the game. So, you know, I get it. It's expensive to make. It costs money to make and all that. And, uh, and, and there's costs there, but I feel like insulin's one of those things that if you're not going to socialize the whole entire healthcare system, then I think at least, you know, insulin's one of those items that literally without a constant supply of a type one diabetic and a lot of two, type two diabetics and even during pregnancy, gestational diabetics who take insulin would suffer greatly. And I think, uh, deserves a debate. So kind of a crazy moment, kind of something crazy to throw up there on this. Uh, you know, I don't really, you know, I just haven't posted in a while. Thought I'd throw this out there as a thought crossing my head today. All right. So everybody take care. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing good. Um, and maybe uh, as the warm weather now is uh, back upon me in my area, you know, I'll start to get more active on the uh, YouTube. I certainly like doing it. So um, everybody take care.